Greece remains in the headlines, not only because of its profound economic challenges, but also over its role in the refugee crisis. I'm here with Yanis Stunaras, who has been governor of the Bank of Greece since June 2014, and before that was Minister of Finance in the centre-right government of Prime Minister Antonis Samaras. Welcome, Mr. Stonaras. Thank you, Martin. It's, it's a great pleasure. So let me just start. How well is the Greek economy doing? I know last year was very, very difficult, uh, very disappointing. Is, has it now finally turned the corner? Well, I think uh, the second semester uh, was much better than expected. Um, probably uh, we have ended uh, with a zero growth rate. Uh, for the year as a whole? For, well, uh, it's anything between, as you know, final data are not in of yet. Course. So it's anything between zero and minus something. But it's much smaller, it's much better situation than the one we expected in June. Uh, I remind you, we expected something between minus 2.5% or even worse. So, and also the latest data, both hard and soft data, um, uh, so some kind of recovery, industrial production, employment, confidence indicators. So um, all in all, better than expected. Of course, next year, I mean this year, to 2016, we're going to have a negative carryover from, 2000, for, from the last quarter of 2015. But overall, uh, and provided the review closes successfully, uh, we might have positive growth in the, in the last Two, two quarters. Now we, of course, read a great deal about the refugee crisis and the enormous challenges it poses for the whole of Europe and the Schengen area. Economically, is this going to be a really big problem for Greece, or or, or do you think the economy will will go through anyway? I mean, first of all, um, Greece is in in the front line of because course. we have thousands of kilometers of coastline, so it's very difficult to control the the refugee wave. Now, the analysis we have done um, and we have presented abroad is that from the refugee problem, um, the benefits mainly go to the host countries and the costs mainly stay with the transit countries. And uh, so this, this is this, this situation. So as far as the budget is concerned, I think for this year um, we have estimated something between 0.3 and 0.4 percent of GDP as a direct cost. But this is only the direct cost. The indirect is, is even higher. So you need help. Do you expect? We definitely need. Do you need expect help. the other members of the European Union, and particularly the Schengen area, to provide you with the help, or do you feel that they're really abandoning you? No, I I, I don't feel they're abandoning us. Uh, there's some kind of negotiations now. I think they are going to uh, to provide help, necessary help, both for infrastructure and also for for the monitoring of the of the flow of refugees. Let's turn to the banking sector. We had a really quite significant banking crisis in Greece. Uh, the European Central Bank refused essentially to refinance it. Is it now restored to health? To, to a large extent. Uh, to remind you that uh, in Greece the causality um, was from the, the crisis started from the public sector. Correct. And the contagion was to the banking sector, not Correct. the other way around. Uh, absolutely. So the, the banks were not too much to blame uh, for this. Now um, we, have, uh, we have completed the recapitalization plan. Uh, we have recapitalized not only the four systemic banks, but also the less systemic ones. So we are in a much better position uh, to tackle the situation of the non-performing loans, which is both a challenge and an opportunity. It's a, it's a big number um, stemming mostly from, from the recession, not from bad management of banks. You talked about the program review. Tell us a little bit about how you see that. Has the, the performance of the government and the, and the policy makers been good enough, in your view, uh, to justify a favourable review? And if so, what would that mean for Greece? As you know, um, since last uh, July, there was a U-turn, a very substantial U-turn uh, in the economic policy. Of course. Uh, so the government now negotiates in the usual good spirit um, with our partners. Uh, the, the program, of course, is difficult, but I have to say that uh, since 2009 that the um, crisis started, we have completed more than three, three quarters of the, of the necessary fiscal adjustment. So the remaining part, not small, uh, not, not in insignificant, but relatively small compared to the initial effort. <coughs> so uh, the most difficult part now of the program is the, 
last bit of the social security reform. Yes, the pensions issue. Yeah, uh, I, I wouldn't say that the others are difficult because the others include um, structural reform. I don't see any problem with structural reform. Uh, I would like to see um, uh, for, for Greece less austerity, um, more investment. Um, as you know, the government owns um, a lot of land. Yes. So we can have real estate uh, development based on state lands. Of course, that requires perhaps some changes in the use of land legislation. But uh, in general, well, I think we, we could have more investment, more privatization, and less austerity. Well, that, in my view, would be ideal, the ideal combination. And do you think that the European, your European partners are likely to come to the view that, that's, that things are going well, that they should continue to support Greece? Uh, well, uh, that, that, that remains to be seen. I think uh, the um, <coughs> um, Troika, the, the institutions, will now come back soon. Um, I, th I think the government has sent uh, the first uh, uh, bills um, to be uh, to be monitored, and uh, well, I hope that uh, at the end of the day, sooner rather than later, we'll have an agreement because this is going to be a catalyst for a number of of benign things to happen. Finally, very quickly, the IMF thinks there must be a further debt deal. Uh, uh, they don't think debt is sustainable. Do you agree with them? And if so, how important and urgent is a debt deal? Well, uh, first of all, as you know, um, there is a commitment by the Eurogroup as early as November 2012 to, to have a, uh, a debt restructuring. Um, so uh, it remains to be um, uh, fulfilled. Um, so I think it is important both for substantial reasons and for symbolic reasons. Um, now, uh, as you know, debt sustainability depends on a lot of uh, parameters. Of course. Primary surplus, uh, GDP growth, interest rates, privatization revenue. So we, we have to uh, discuss all these uh, parameters uh, with the IMF and, uh, and the European uh, partners. So in, in a word, what you're saying basically is that we should now consider Grexit, the exit of Greece from the Eurozone, to be impossible. That basically yes. the, the, I, I think that Greece is now on the turn and it is going to work. Sort of absolutely. Yes. And uh, this is a closed chapter. Thank you very much, Governor. That was very, very interesting. Thank you very much, Martin.